So, ladies and gentlemen, we come to our penultimate piece of the evening, and we stay with the opera Siegfried, uh, but we move on to Act 3, and uh, the story now moves back to the lady that was, was on the stage right at the very beginning, uh, Brunhilde, with her team of Valkyries. But in the second opera, the Valkyrie, Brunhilde uh, defied the orders of the king of the gods, Wotan, and she tried to help that doomed couple, Siegmund and Sieglinde. And as a punishment, the nasty Wotan stripped Brunhilde of her superpowers, and he puts her on a rock surrounded by fire, and she's put to sleep. And Wotan says that only a man, a superhuman man, who knows no fear, can break through the fire and awake the sleeping Brunhilde. So, this being Wagner, we know that this can only be one man, the man from nowhere, the hero of the Ring of the Nibelungen, Siegfried. And Siegfried kills the evil dwarf Mima, as Mima tries to poison him. He kills the giant, horrific dragon, Fafner, as Fafner tries to kill him. And Siegfried, being Siegfried, laughs at both of them, and now has the ring of the Nibelungen. He's the most powerful man in the world, but does he care? He couldn't care less. All he wants is to find love, and a woodland bird tells him of the most beautiful woman in the world, asleep on a high craggy rock surrounded by fire, and Siegfried bursts through that fire, and he wakes the sleeping beauty, Brunhilde, with a gentle kiss. And at first, Brunhilde fears a relationship with Siegfried. Although she loves him, she's not used to this attention from guys. So she says, Siegfried, you're a nice guy. I love the, the long blonde hair and the rippling muscles. <laughs> and the sword, no to him, which you forged. But leave me alone. <laughs> so this is the piece that we come to. Egvig war ich, sung by Anita Lyons. Ladies and gentlemen, Egvig war ich.